Good afternoon, all future owls. My name is Katherine Kelman. I serve as the director for the Department of Housing and Residential Education here at Florida Atlantic University. And we're gonna spend some time talking about what awaits your future here at FAU within housing. So as I'm about to share my screen, this will give you enough time to actually refresh your page to make sure that you have the chat feature um, as part of this presentation. Two of my associate directors will be answering questions throughout the presentation today. Now I may cover some of those things throughout my PowerPoint and then at the very end of our presentation, I'm actually gonna go through all of the virtual tours that are offered to our students on our website. So sit back, relax, and learn a lot about housing and what's the future, the future that awaits you here at FAU in housing. So first, our contracts for summer 2021 are open as well as our academic 2021 and spring 2022 are all open. Please note that uh, our deadline date for, for applying is May 1st. Do not delay as our housing does fill up quickly. And so you wanna make sure that you have completed your tuition deposit before you apply for housing so that you have all of your OWL done things started to complete, as we said at the panel today. Part of our contract process is a $100 non-refundable application fee, which is not a deposit or a prepayment towards your housing costs. That's vitally important. Please note for summer 2021, you are not required to live on campus as the university is doing a um, hybrid model. You are not required, but it is open for students who are coming here for summer 2021. We do have housing available. So first, for our Boca Raton campus, students are required to live on campus if they meet the following criteria. All first year students living outside of 30 mile radius, radius from the university must live on campus. The only exceptions will be made for the following reasons. A student who is residing with their parent or guardian within 30 miles of campus, a student who is at least 21 years of age, a student who is married, if you need to apply for any type of exemption that would fall into those criteria, our exemption process um, for summer is May 1. We would need that exemption from you all or July 1 for the fall semester. Please note these deadlines are hard deadlines. So please make sure that you're going on our website, which will um, we will go prematurely after this presentation to kind of show you where different things can be found. For any of our Wilkes Honors College students or our Jupiter campus, our first year students are required to live on campus for the first two years um, of their time, no matter if they live within the 30 or outside of the 30 mile radius. The reason why we have that is that we are a residential college in Wilkes Honors College. So there is an additional benefit for those first two years of living on campus. What, um, what can you requ request within your contract? So when you're completing your housing contract, he, these are the things that you'll see. You'll see th requests related to accommodation modifications. Please note all accommodations and modifications requests will have to start with our student accessibility services. And for the fall, we need all of those paperwork in that process to be completed by June 1st. Once again, you have to go through student accessibility services and have their... Um, documents and go through their process and be approved and they will send that information to us please do not send any accommodation information or modification information to housing we will ask you to go to student accessibilities for that process you'll also be able to actually list up to three preferences for room types and buildings that is important as you're going to decide where you want to live in which buildings and we'll talk a little bit about each building and what is available in those spaces Additionally, you can prefer you can prefer you can give a preference of one roommate or suite mate. Please note this does take priority over your preferences for building. So, if you have a preferred roommate or suite mate, that will come over your building preference. It is also important to note if you are still seeking out a roommate, we have closed our preferences for roommates that close on April 1st. So any students who are requesting a, a particular roommate, that request will not be honored. We will go through our traditional roommate process of using the lifestyle questions to actually um, connect different roommates and make that available. So that is important. 
So you may be asking how housing assignments are made and how do we make those, uh, those assignments. So the day of your contract completion is the first thing that we look at. So the earlier you complete, the higher your, your application is in the pool. Your enrollment of a full academic close course load is quite important as well. So please make sure you are completing your easy advising in a timely manner so that it can be completed and it'll be part of the process for your housing assignment. Your distance from campus. So if you're within the 30, you're going to have, if you're within the 30 mile radius and you have applied for housing, you will not get priority. If you are outside the 30, you're going to have priority. So please know if you're someone who's within 30 and you're looking for housing, you're going to have to wait until we've housed all students who are outside of 30. You've registered for orientation or SOAR. And then next we look at your room preferences and we, we begin to look at your room pre preferences, your roommate and suite preferences, which are not all guaranteed. Things do change, things happen. And if your application is late, you may not get your first choice or your second choice. You may get your third choice. All communication related to housing and assignments is sent to you, sent to you via your FAU email. So please check your FAU email very frequently after you've completed your, your tuition deposit. I cannot stress that more importantly. We will never send housing assignments or any information as an institution to your Gmail, Hotmail, or any other personal email. It will always come to your FAU email. Additionally, all residential halls do require a meal plan. As part of your housing contract process, you will select your meal plan. You can change your meal plan once you do arrive on campus. You have about two weeks to do so with business services, but you will select your actual meal plan preference um, and choice during that process. Housing during break. Um, holiday break. So we are open for Thanksgiving and spring break. Our halls are open. Um, there are no additional costs. Winter break, our halls are open, but students will have to apply and be approved for break housing is what we call it. We will send out information once our halls open about many of these different processes. And often that is coming from either your FAU email or your housing portal, or you will see it in bulletin boards or at floor meetings with RAs. Break housing is not available during the summer and fall terms. Summer start students um, should plan to move out all of their belongings um, when they finish out the summer term and when they return for fall, you'll have to bring those items back. We do not have storage on campus for students' belongings. What comes in your room? Um, you do, in our residence halls, we have a twin XL bed. It is really an XL. It is uh, extra long. Um, you have a desk and a chair, a dresser, and horizontal window blinds. So that is important to note. These all come in your space. When we do the tour shortly, you'll see how the different configurations look um, for our room assignments. So safety and security, our front desks are um, staffed 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Uh, we do have what we call our housing community service officers, CSOs, who patrol our residence halls in the evenings and overnights. We have night owls on our campus that provide rides in the evening for students across campus. We do have active blue light phones at every one of our buildings and throughout campus that does alert our FAUPD um, of emergencies. We have actual police officers here on campus. Um, entries to our residence halls and our elevators in certain buildings um, will require an OWL card. So in order to get to all of our living spaces, you need to have an OWL card and that OWL card will only give access to people who live in that building to that space. Programming, the fun part of living on campus is that we do have a curriculum. So everything as a student that you are participating in, even the fun uh, social program that you're doing, arts and craft day or painting uh, program, there will still be a learning objective in there that our RAs are doing. So these are what we do. We strengthen your academics. We bring you closer to your faculty and, and other staff members. We engage you in the FAU community and its pride. We allow you to explore yourself through engaging with the Center for Ideas, Veteran Services, um, Fraternity and Sorority Life. And then we develop your multicultural competency. This world is a global place. And so we want to have you ready for that experience and continue to be ready for that experience. The resources that you will have here is that we have uh, resident assistants who are your peers. We have graduate hall coordinators. Um, these are individuals who are getting their degree in higher education and want to work in this field. And then we have professional residential education hall coordinators who are 
um, master's level professionals who are managing our buildings and here for any questions that you may have. And then lastly, before we go on to our tours, we do have academic initiatives in our building. So first, we do have a get two Get Wise centers. We have one in Glades Park Tower, or what we call GPT. And we have a brand new one that will be opening with our brand new building that we're um, completing this summer, which is Atlantic Park Towers. And that is um, going to be a, a, a great hub of people just engaging in quiet study, tutoring sessions, group study, advising opportunities, career consultation happens in those spaces. We also bring in faculty engagement opportunities where faculty come in and talk about research that they're doing, research opportunities, practicum opportunities many other things that you can engage with your faculty. And then from our department, we do focus uh, initiatives that are really focused in your academics based on different colleges and, and majors. We do intervention and in helping students um, who are struggling maybe in midterms or in classes to help them get into tutoring. And then we recognize our college, our, our, our residential community that does have great grades in that act, those particular semesters. So, when we start our virtual tours, we're going to cover a, a variety of questions, but these are just a couple. Please know if you are not seeing the chat at this time, please make sure that you refresh so that my associate directors who are managing the chat can answer all the questions that you may have. I once again will cover some of these questions, but I want to make sure that you know that we are here to answer your questions in a timely fashion. So. First, this is our housing website. This is gonna be your home of getting information outside of this going to your building. When you click the three lines, it'll bring you to all of our subheadings. Um, the first one that's vitally important is gonna be take a tour. This is gonna show you all about our um, different housing and all the different buildings and what they have to offer. So when you click that, you can click all the different buildings. It, first time in college students, that's you. Our future owls who have chosen to come to, to FAU, we want to show you all of what we have to offer here. So the first building I'm going to show you is Glaze Park Tower. Um, and it's what is important is Glaze Park Tower, which is GPT, and Heritage Park Tower, which we call HBT. They are sister buildings. They are pretty much identical twins. So every building tour you're going to see, those rooms look identical. For Glades and Heritage, you're going to look at a building that has mostly double rooms. So that's what I'm going to show you today. That means that you're going to have roommates, but you're also going to have suite mates. So let's begin. So all of our tours are virtual, but they're engaging. So it allows you to stop and go. So this is what we call the front view. So this room is what we call an LNR double room. So you have two people in one bedroom, two people in the other. There is one shared bathroom for this whole room. So let me start the tour so that way you can see how um, this room kind of has a layout. So this room um, is what we call an Eleanor R room. And it's going to have a full year experience. You have a sink area in the hallway space. Each room has their own bedroom. So you're managing how you're sharing space within your own bedroom, but also in the suite. So you're going to have to talk with your suite mates and your roommates about how you engage around cleaning of the bathroom. Hey, um, we will make sure the space is clean for you when you arrive, but our custodial staff do not clean throughout the year. We do not provide you additional toilet paper, cleaning supplies, so you'll need to talk with your roommates and suite mates about who's going to do that, that particular cleaning. Are we going to have a schedule? Are we cleaning it twice a week? Are we cleaning it um, once a week? Um, who's picking out the clean supplies? Are we buying each of our own individual clean supplies? So when it's our week, we clean with our stuff. Are we buying toilet paper together? Are we buying paper towels together? Things of that nature. Um, students are able to bring their own refrigerator and micro fridge into the space. We don't have a company that we use. Students do purchase them on their own from different locations. But as you can see, this space is avail available for you to design in your own way. What we do ask is that there are no nails or push pins in the wall. I'm going to run this tour one more time so that way you can see it. Um, and so the closets allow you to put um, your own spin on decorating. So what you can do is put a bungee cord and put a curtain there. Um, if you don't want to, that's fine. All the furniture in the space must stay in the space. We do allow certain... Um, cooking appliances on our campus. We do allow air fryers, Insta, Instapots, 
toaster ovens, but we do not allow toaster toasters or hot plates of any nature. What we will always say to students is you're allowed anything that doesn't have an open heating element. When you start the move-in process, we'll be sending you a move-in guide and you'll have a list of all the approved appliances on campus. So please make sure you read all the things that we send to you as well. Um, some of that's already on our website, on our moving guide from this past year that you can kind of look at um, beforehand. All of the furniture is in the space. You must keep in the space, um, but where you place it may be differently. So if you want to put both desks together or both dressers together, it's really up to you. As you look at this video of, of the virtual tour, you'll see that there are red dots. That'll give you some additional information. You're allowed to put up curtains in the room. You're also allowed to have your bed um, put on allowed it, your bed to be lifted or to be lowered. That is done by our maintenance staff. And we have 20, uh, we do have maintenance staff here um, every day who are taking care of different maintenance orders. On weekends, we don't have maintenance here, but during the week we do. So this is um, Heritage and Glaze Park Tower, like I said earlier. So now we're gonna go to Parliament Hall, which you're gonna see a difference. So on this tour, you'll see that there are still two bedrooms, L and R as we saw earlier, but now we have an additional bathroom. So instead of four people sharing one bathroom, we now have two people having their own bathroom, two people having their own bathroom, and then they have a small entryway. So let me talk a little bit about Parliament. So Parliament Hall is going to have a more single rooms. Um, they do have some of these doubles, but not very many compared to the other building you just saw. What's important here that you wanna make sure that you understand is once again, these both individuals on the one side are gonna have to speak with the other about how they share that hallway, but the two in the A, B, and C room who share a bathroom will need to talk about how they're gonna clean their space. Each grouping is um, required to clean their own space, like I said earlier. As you can see in this tour as well, and I, I will let it play again um, once it does stop, is that these beds are much higher than the beds that you saw in the other building. So we would call these our, our lofted-like beds. Um, they do come with a ladder. They also lower and they do get, um, we can rise them to the highest height. The heights are varied. Uh, what I will tell you is that our awesome tour, and when it stops, I'll show you how to use the um, ruler feature, but these tours have a ruler right in the far corner right here, and it actually allows you to do measurements. What I will say is our tour, um, virtual tours that I'm showing you, these are of particular rooms. So measurements may vary depending on the room location and the room size. So it's not always 100% correct, but I will tell you the one thing that is always correct are our windows and our closets. So they tend to be exact, but the room dimension may be a little off. Uh, so you can measure the room if you choose to. A question that we often get is, can I park on campus? You can park on campus. Parking is free. All residential students are going to park in green lots. Those are closely um, connected to the buildings. Um, the, the residential building. So before I start the next tour of Parliament, I want to just show you the ruler feature. So you're going to come here, click the button, and then you're just going to measure. Okay? You're just going to post. It won't let me go through, but I'm going to use the window. It tends to give me. So see, if I click here, it'll tell me the distance, and the virtual tour allows me to show you the distance from the window to the door. Or if I want to show you If I wanted to show you the dimension of the, the the window, I would just click and I can scroll it. I can move it so it just allows you to do different things to show you the different um, measurements, okay? The next parliament room that we have is what we call our four singles, two bathrooms. So now we've moved past having roommates. Um, these are individuals who you share bedrooms with to now having suite mates. So these are individuals who have your own bedroom. So we don't have any private rooms, but we do have private bedrooms in suites. So that's very important to know about FAU. So in this particular room type, and I'm gonna start, it's four bedrooms. We call this a, the A, B, C, D room. Um, and then you have two bathrooms. So similar as you saw in the prior tour, two students in bedrooms one and two would share the bathroom on their side. And then the students in three and four bedroom will share the bathroom on the other side. Um, and so they will have to come up with a plan related to that. 
the move-in date as you think about moving in for fall we'll be doing it by appointment only so we'll open that up we'll send an email to tell you that the process is open that process will start august 17th it is important that if you are doing orientation um as part of the process of moving that you want to do your appoint appointment earlier if you've already done orientation you can do it a little later because you don't have to be here early for orientation moving appointments will start in july once again um we have a question that comes in that says when do we get um when do we receive our housing assignments housing assignments are um sent out for the fall to your fau email starting as early as june so please make sure that you are watching your email as soon as possible. So let's talk a little bit about guest policy. So we do allow guests. Um, currently, we're under a protocol related to COVID, but we continue to keep CDC guidelines related to our um, guest policy. And if and when we are able to, we believe that we are and we are currently planning for the fall to have our guest policy in place, which means that you would in order to have an overnight guest, you're talking with your roommates, your suite mates to know that someone else is going to be in the space. Um, they just need to approve and then you'll check that person in at the front desk. We do allow opposite sex uh, overnight guests and guests of the room. But we once again, it's a conversation with your suite mates and roommates related to that. The next question I have before, and I'm going to start this tour one more time. And as you can see, you can pull yourself in to the tour and get a, a better eye view of spaces. So it, it does make it way um interactive in how you can engage it. So next question is, when is the deadline to pay for the rest of my housing fees? Housing charges will start to post to your account, to students' accounts um, for the fall on June 1st. So please make sure that you are looking at all university payment dot deadlines posted on tuition and billing related to that. Do our residence halls have kitchens? So we have what we call community kitchenettes. They're on our first floor of our, of our buildings. They are not suitable for you to make a meal every day. So you would still be required to have a meal plan. Um, but you're able to, if you want to have, uh, you know, if you and a couple friends want to make some of those famous wings that your, you know, grandma or grandma are known for, then you are able to do that because you're able, there's a small kitchen area in that space. For move out, what's important to note is that for the spring, you'll need to move out by um, in, in April and we'll give you that date and the time that you'll need to be moved out. It will once again be appointment based, but we'll provide all that information on important dates in our information. And as a student, you do get priority for what we call our contract renewal process. And that for the Jupiter campus happens in the spring, for our Boca campus that happens in the fall. As you can tell, that the views that students get from these rooms are so awesome and great and that our students arrange these rooms very differently. Some have their ladder on, some don't, but once again, everything that's in place here has to stay in place here. If there's any issues in your room, you're gonna always put in a work order and we teach you that the first time you have a floor meeting so that you're able to know um, where everything is, but also how to do all the things that you need to do in order to um, be successful in living on campus. So the next tour is going to look a little different. So the last building that's offered to first year students is what we call Indian River Towers, or we call it IRT. So it's a mixed building of class years. So it will have some sophomores in the building as well as first year students. I will say that it's, an, it's more of a first year building than it is a sophomore building. It does have a different and unique feature. So it um, we do have L and R rooms, so you do have some doubles in that building, but you also have some singles. But what makes this building unique is that it has a living room space. So unlike the other buildings I've shown you where you just have a foyer or hallway in the middle of the room of the suite, you now have this living room space, this space that you can call your own, put a TV up, hang out, play board games. So let's start that tour. And this has one bathroom, but the bathroom is separated. So in the other tours that had one bathroom, the sink, there's a sink and a, and a shower and a toilet in that room. And then there's a sink outside in this particular room types in IRT, no matter the room um, type, if it has singles or doubles, you're going to have the toilet in one room and the, um, and the shower in the other. And then there's sinks in each space so that you're able to wash your hands and things of that nature. A question that came into the chat um, that we often hear is, 
Are there curfews? We don't have curfews on campus. We do run a 24 hour desk, but students do not have to sign in and out that they've left the building for the evening. So please know that you won't have a curfew while staying here. You will need an OWL card though. That is vitally important to the process of security and safety. Um, are you all allowed to bring animals on campus? You're allowed, I'm gonna start this tour one more time. Um, you're allowed a fish a fish in a no no larger than 10 gallon tank but if you do have an emotional support animal or a service animal you're allowed to bring that once it's been approved through the process of the student accessibility with the student accessibility services so that's vitally important that you follow those de those deadlines and those processes before you bring the animal on campus are our floors divided by gender? No, so we will have, we, you can be in suite 204 and it can be an all male suite and next door to that suite could be all female suite. We do also offer gender inclusive housing. That is not by floor or by a building. It is offered in every of all of our buildings. If you have more questions about our gender inclusive housing, you can go on the same website that it says take a tour. You can, um, you can go on the section that says gender inclusive housing and it will explain that um, you have to self-select into gender inclusive housing. Students will not be placed into gender inclusive housing um, without their choice. Um, if there's any issues during the move in process, you or or during the time that you're on campus, you are gonna come to the front desk. So as I close and I answer the last couple set of questions, I'm gonna run you through a quick tour of Heritage Park Towers actual front desk area and their lobby. Um, because we're currently not able to give tours of our buildings, um, I wanted to highlight that we do offer tours of our whole building. So you're still getting that, that experience of being in our building by seeing our lobby areas. Each of our buildings has a tour of their lobby. Heritage and Glade share the same tour because they have the same footprint on the first floor. Every all of our buildings, um, you will have a mail center where you will get you can get your lettered mail, and then for the quad area, they will collect their packages in our brand new building at Atlantic Park Towers. Parliament has their own package center where they can pick up their package center, but everyone will get an assigned mailbox at checking. You will get that information so your family can um, send you mail. Um, but all the addresses for each of our buildings is given on our website. As you can tell here on the tour, there is a computer lab in this particular building. There is also a computer lab in Heritage, Indian River, Glades, and Parliament all have computer labs. This area is free for students to use. Um, Glades Park Tower and Atlantic that have the Get Y Center off offers free printing, which is a great resource here on campus. Um, the lobby area does have hangout spaces where students can relax, talk, engage. It also is a main hub for students to do programming. So you'll find that there's a lot of programming that happens here. Um, the tour will quickly take us into the, the NPR multi-purpose room, which does hold our kitchen area, our kitchenette area. Um, as you can tell, our hallways, even in this space, are quite decorated. Each of the NPR space is going to have um, sort of some sort of an entertainment space. So it'll have a TV and either a pool table, foosball, air hockey. It just depends on each building. Um, does give you a different variety of different um, spaces to kind of hang out and engage in the space. So once again, if you haven't been able to, uh, if I didn't cover a question today during this uh, tour, please make sure that you're placing that information in the chat box. And then lastly, I just want to send a reminder about our re residency requirement for campus. So if you live outside of 30 miles of campus, you are required to live on campus. If you're seeking an exemption for that reason, um, and you don't want to, then you need to make sure that we get that exemption by July 1 for the fall semester. That is vitally important. If you live within 30, you are not required, but if you choose to apply, please make sure you understand it. it. You won't have priority on a date. So it may take us some time to get through all of our other housing assignments before we are able to actually um, house you. Lastly, as we close, um, all of our buildings do have laundry and it is free. So every one of our buildings has a free laundry in it. So washers and dryers. So you will never pay for laundry here at Florida Atlantic University. Um, and so I think that's a great resource, but also a great service that we provide here for students. So last as we go, your future does await you here at 
FAU and in housing, please make sure that you are applying early. Our application is open. Make sure your tuition deposited and we will send you your assignment starting in early June. We look forward to seeing you all in the fall or summer and go FAU.